according to Philippine News Agency. RIMPAC or RIM of the Pacific stint to help Philippine Navy develop surface warfare doctrines. July 28, 2020. Manila, the participation of the BRP Jose Rizal FF 150, the country's first missile frigate, in this year's Rim of the Pacific RIMPAC naval exercises will help the Philippine Navy PN, in the development of its doctrines on surface warfare operations, its chief said on Monday. The experience acquired in this exercise is also an important input in the development of our doctrines in surface warfare operations ensuring that the PN is responsive against modern-day threats. Moreover, PN's participation enhances our cooperation and interoperability with other foreign navies, said Vice ADM. Giovanni Carlo Bacordo in a message to the Philippine news agency PNA when asked for updates on BRP Jose Rizal's deployment for the International Naval Exercise stated on August 17-31. Bacordo said the participation of the PN's first modern frigate will also help in the overall development of knowledge and skills of the naval personnel. He added that RIMPAC, touted as the world's largest maritime warfare exercise, will give the PN an opportunity to see the ship in action, showcasing her capabilities in naval warfare. The crew of FF-150 have been conducting various training in preparation for the exercise. Training and drills are scheduled every day to make sure that the crew is in its highest state of readiness. The training not only focuses on ship emergency drills but also on combat information center drills simulating actual combat scenarios, Bacordo said. Also, the crew of BRP Jose Rizal will get to witness live fire and sinking exercises firsthand, he added. This is a great opportunity for the ship and its crew to observe and learn how other countries utilize weapons against air, surface and subsurface threats, Bacordo said. BRP Jose Rizal is scheduled to depart for Hawaii, where the biennial RIMPAC is usually held, this coming July 29th with preparations for the voyage now nearing completion. The ship is also logistically prepared and has enough provisions for the entire voyage. Various refueling and reprovisioning points have also been identified as part of the planning, he added. Earlier, PN Public Affairs Office Chief Lieutenant Commander Maria Cristina Roxas said the ship's crew would use the two-week RIMPAC maneuvers as a shakedown cruise to test the performance and seaworthiness of the brand new missile frigate. A shakedown cruise allows the crew to familiarize themselves aboard a new vessel and ensure that all of the ship's systems are functional. The RIMPAC, being a multi-dimensional training exercise, will be a chance for the BRP Jose Rizal to level up its engagement in this four-dimension warfare, Roxas added. Having this exercise for FF-150, it is an opportunity now that we have this capability in our inventory, she said. The ship is capable of conducting anti-air warfare, anti-surface warfare, anti-submarine warfare, and electronic warfare operations. The BRP Jose Rizal was launched at the Hyundai Heavy Industries shipyard in Ulsan, South Korea on May 23, 2019. Its sister ship, the BRP Antonio Luna FF-151, was launched in the same facility on November 8 last year. The contract for the two ships was 16 billion Philippine pesos, along with 2 billion Philippine pesos for weapon systems and munitions. PNA
see you in the next video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, thank you.